right, good afternoon guys. Jay here again, Guna Bushcraft. And we're off out again for another overnighter. Not in the bushcraft forest this time though, we're in the glorious Peak District. Absolutely glorious. <laughs> it certainly is there, it's, it's roasting. It's, I think it's the hottest day of the year so far. So we've come along to, we're parked in Hope, uh, a few miles away, and we've come along to this nice little wooded area, which is called, you know, I forgot. Well, that hill just there is called Wooler Knoll. Wooler Knoll. And this is the Woodlands Valley just down here with the Lady Bower Reservoir in the bottom. Beautiful little place. Uh, and like I said, amazing, amazing weather. It's just perfect for it. I've not got the hammock, you know, but I wish I'd bought it now because there's ample opportunities. So yeah, but we're just going to bivy it. No, uh, no tarp. I've got the tarp with me, but we're going to go just straight bivy bags under the trees and the stars. It's all good. So I'll come back to you a bit later on when we're a bit more sorted. And this tree has conveniently fell down. So it's going to make a rather nice little seat for us, I reckon, you know. Whip, a few, whip a few of these little uh, branches off. Ready-made bench. And it's nice and flat here, so we can literally just chuck the bivvies wherever we want, whoever takes us fancy. Perfect. We're just having a stroll to this end of the woods now. And there's going to be some spectacular views just through here. Dino's going to do a bit of his photography later. It's certainly spectacular walking up. I think I lost about 18 litres in water and sweat. <laughs> it's red as. But worth it for a night out of here. Check that, guys. What a view. Right then, so we're going to have a little bit of a chill out in the forest now. Head over back to this side of woods when the sun's starting to go down. Dino's bought an additional camera, so he's going to do some uh, some cool stuff with that. And yeah, just chilling out. It's great to be here. It was the Great Northern Bushcraft Conference just over a week ago. And that was just amazing. So really good to be back down this way again so soon. Really starting to enjoy myself here in the in the Peak District. I mean, I've I've done Kinder Scout a few times with Dino and a few other bits, but. Compared to Dino's magic number of hills and stuff he's done, I'm, uh, I'm lacking. But yeah, it's good to be out. Now obviously because we're in the Peak District National Park, we can't really be having a campfire. So I bought with me the next best thing, which is the Bushcraft Essentials uh, bush box. It's not the XL, it's the one down from that. It should be just right. We'll get a f three or four stones, prop it up on that. So there's no risk of it uh, going anywhere. Yeah, and uh, cook his tea on that. Should be lovely. I've only used this once since I've had it, so it'll be nice to use it again. And I've just seen on this branch here, there's a bit of sheep's wool. So I'll use that to get the fire started with a few dry twigs. Should be spot on. It's a bit of telly later and all. Something to stare at. <laughs> well, the midges are certainly liking the bright orange. <laughs> Let me sleep in, Matt. They're right in force today. And there it is guys, home for the evening. Could not be simpler. British Army Gore-Tex bivvy bag, sleeping mat, and my old three season Van Gogh sleeping bag. Perfect. Now we bought the DD 3x3 multicam tarp, just in case it does rain, but Dino just checked the dark sky, dark sky into the It's called Dark Sky, yeah. It's really good weather app. Pretty impressive. Uh, and it's going to be clear skies, literally like that, all night. So no tarp needed. Hopefully some star time lapses. It's going to be cool. good. Can't wait. still. I think it's about half past six and it's still red hot. There's a few midges but that, that comes with the, the beautiful weather you gotta you gotta put away a few midges. So we're just gonna borrow a few stones 
for the base for the firebox now I'll have that dry stem wall behind me and we'll replace them in the morning like I said we're going to be ultra careful with the it's only a small little firebox and it'll be rested on some stones and we'll have water next to it just in case because a few weeks ago someone carelessly in the Peak District not far from here uh, caused a massive fire with a disposable barbecue and not that there's much risk of fire in there to be honest we've picked a nice spot and there's no like dry grass around but just just to be careful we like to be careful all right come back in a bit there we go guys nice and simple to set up this is a stainless steel one not the titanium but it doesn't really weigh anything got this little extra grill which i assume you could put there if you wanted to like kind of grid or something two pot pot holders there and a little tray underneath to catch the ashes yeah i'll do it just fine it's like firewood prepping in miniature. <laughs> for, for toy town. Yeah. We don't need much. And we've got an ample supply here. Look, just keep breaking twigs off this deadfall. I don't think Ray'd be happy with that. I don't think there's quite enough wood there, man, to get through tonight, is there? But... No, I don't think there will be. Yeah. <laughs> It'd still be panicking. So a bit of wool, kindly donated by the sheep. Use that as a bit of tinder. I'm gonna get some dry grass from down there and get the fire st started because uh, I'm getting pretty hungry. I've got the trusty old crusader and I'm going for a chicken in yellow curry with rice at our army ration pack. That should be lovely. So it's about half seven. Ray, if you're watching, can we light the fire yet, bud? Is it okay? <laughs> Dinner's cooking nicely. Like I said, all them twigs are bone dry. So it's going really well. So that's dinner cooked. Smells beautiful. Doesn't look too bad either. <laughs> Dino's turn. He's going for a look what we found and the rice. Quite impressed with this push box. Once you've got your better embers, it really it it smells smells nicely, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It's quite good. And we're just keeping it small, so once we've done that, once we've done this cooking, we might just chuck a few more sticks on it, but it's not so much a campfire tonight, is it? It's just, just for cooking, really. Well, that's dinner taken care of, all fed. And I'm just going to let the last few sticks burn off now. I've just put them on, on top of that, and it's going to burn down, and then that'll do, I think. Time to relax and enjoy the evening. Multiple cameras set up for time lapse. I've got the, <laughs> the old cannon down there, and I've precariously wedged the um, iPhone 6 Plus in the uh, bark. Perfectly uh, made camera stand, that mate. <laughs> Hopefully, I would have preferred it to have angled down a touch more, but uh, what can you do? The tree fell how it fell. <laughs> Now that is turning into a beautiful sunset, guys. Looks awesome. Down there, just around a bit, that's where the Great Northern Bushcraft Conference were last week. And I haven't quite got the skills like Dino's got to name you all the peaks. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one just over there. Yeah. The conical one is Lewes Hill. Lewes Hill. The Great Ridge behind that one and the Imam Tor just off in the distance, but what's Jay looking at now? Over that sort of direction there, that's Grindslow Knoll. This is this is all Kinder Scout here. And that's Crookston Knoll just at the end there where the sun's setting. It's like a Peak District encyclopedia, isn't he? <laughs> I've walked a few. He's, he's, done it, he's been here a couple of times. <laughs> and he's just right. he's just time lapsing now, the sunset. I've utilised all the cameras. I've literally got my iPhone wedged in a tree trunk back <laughs> That's a good there. Stand. I've got the 550D zoomed right in on the sun and that is just wedged precari precariously on the wall there. But I've got no cameras to talk to. So. <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right, we're gonna enjoy this sunset, guys. Yeah, I thought I'd have a go 
for it, a little time lapse. The sun was looking absolutely beautiful going down behind the hill there, so you've got to seize them moments. Right, we'll walk back into the forest now. Dino's checking on his cameras and stuff, so hopefully he's caught some cool stuff as well. Right guys, it's that time already. I say that time already, it's about half nine. <laughs> but uh, the first one. But yeah, we're just chilling out. I've had the radio on over there. It's amazing, the, the light is awesome. It is. We just spent the last, well, hour or so just running around. Yeah, time lapsing and taking pictures and whatnot. You really can't miss these great opportunities. But yeah, the bush box is totally burnt out. It's nearly cold. I'll pour some water on that in a sec. And then we'll tidy that away in the morning. So it's just a case of chilling, a bit of radio, enjoying the beautiful atmosphere. Catch you in a bit. I've just come a walk down into the open bit, trying to escape some of the midges. <laughs> we are getting et alive at the minute. Last week at Edel, we didn't really get bothered by them because there weren't so many out, and a lot of people had fire pits and stuff, and the smoke keeping them away, maybe. But yeah, they're lunching on us at the minute. But, can't put a price on a good time. I don't know if you can see that, guys, but I'm currently uh, being absolutely out alive. Just everywhere. I think we need to fire the bush box back up, Dino. <laughs> Definitely, that's probably the best idea yet. Dino's just breathing some life back into it, and totally gone out. It's all good. Get some small sticks on. Hopefully this will fend them away. <laughs> that's, it is mainly just to keep the midges at bay. <laughs> yeah, that's the sole reason. Plus it's good for a bit of television. Yeah. Because all we're getting at the minute is local radio and it's terrible. Viking <laughs> FM. <laughs> so we really are making the most of a little bush box. <laughs> Still firmly on them stones looking just burning nicely. Of a focal point for the evening. <laughs> it's a great device. It certainly is. Okay, guys, that is about it for this evening. I've had a cracking night, just chilling, having a couple of beers, didn't we? And yeah, it's been good. It's been excellent. Just chilled around the old bus box there. <laughs> kept it topped up with the it's like hexy TV. It is, yeah. <laughs> just kept it topped up with twigs all night. There's a little bit of ash around it, but we'll. Uh, We'll sort that in the morning. It's smouldering away quite nicely. It's on the rock, so we've not even scorched the earth in any way, shape or form. But the main thing is, this smoke is keeping the midges away. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we'll uh, speak to you in the morning. I'm going to get my head down in a second, because it is yeah, literally about quarter to one in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Catch you in a bit. Right, you can't see this, guys, but just there is about five sheep. And they're looking at us... Uh, as if to say, who are these guys in our forest? We're on their patch. Hopefully they won't come any closer. And good morning, guys. It's about seven o'clock now. I had a really good night's sleep, nice and warm. Apart from the midges trying to get in, but apart from that, yeah, really comfortable and warm. Dean, it was still asleep there, bless him. So, gonna get tidied up, packed away, and then we're gonna head on back to the car. A couple of miles, I think, away. It's all downhill this time, so nice and easy. I'll bring you back in a little bit, guys. Okay, then. All packed away and ready for the off. Dinner's packed away, and all we need to do is just nip these rocks back down to the wall where we got them from. You'll never know we've been here apart from a bit of flat grass. That's the way it should be. And then we're going to head up that hill and then right back down to the village. Nice early morning walk.
that's it for another one. We're back at the car now, down in Hope. It was a really nice uh, couple of mile walk. The sun's already beaming down and it's roasting already. But yeah, another good night out. So if you've watched this so far, thank you very much for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting. It's all good stuff, very much appreciated. So I'll catch you all on the next one. See you in a bit.